Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are talking little finesse swim baits. How to take these little guys and apply them to your springtime bass fishing to catch great big bass. Huge largemouth and smallmouth will gulp a little tiny swim bait if you know when and how to throw it. The My goal with this video is to completely simplify the finesse swim bait category for you. There are so many different baits, so many different heads. They have all these different purposes that people talk about. I want to drum this whole thing down to just a couple of heads and a couple of baits. We're going to make this just as easy as possible. So we'll give you one underspin, one screw head, and two bare swim bait heads, and then a handful of swim baits. Now with the swim bait, there's no question, the Kitek is the gold standard of smaller swim baits, now of paddle tail swim baits. It's completely taken over the market and it's done it for good reason. If you're not throwing a Kitek in the springtime, you are leaving some fish behind. I mean, it, it's really, it's that dramatic. They flat catch fish, I mean, I'll reach down here on my step and just pick up some of these destroyed Kitex that I just have piled up from my daily fishing. I mean, it's, we throw them a lot because they work. That said, as the Kitex is getting thrown more and more and more, fish are getting used to them. So it doesn't hurt to branch out, try some different things. So I'm going to give you a couple of those interesting things as well. But let's go back to heads. Let's start there. Bare swim bait heads first. Two heads. This is the little guppy head. And this is our head. This is the Tactical Bassin Finesse Swim Bait Head. Significantly different size hooks here. That's on purpose. We weren't trying to have overlap. If you're throwing we're going we're gonna to use Kitex because that's the gold standard. So if you're throwing a 2.8 or a 3.3 Kitex, that guppy head is dynamite. It does a fantastic job. You can throw it on ultra light line. You can throw it on four pound test if you want. Fish is great on six or eight pound test as well, but you can do so much with it. If you go bigger than that, we go to the finesse head. Again, drastically bigger hook there for size comparison, but it's still very light. It'll fish on eight, 10, 12 pound line. It's perfect for 3.8 and 4.3 Kitex. It'll throw a 3.3 or a 4.8 if you want it to, but its sweet spot is that 3.8 to 4.3. Perfect for cold water largemouth, spotted bass, smallmouth. That's what we had in mind. I mean, compare it to an actual, that's the Matt Allen swim bait head, the one we've thrown for years. Now you see the difference. There was a gap there in the middle and that one fills it. But again, just two heads, a guppy head and a finesse head, depending on the size of your swim bait. And then an underspin, that cool baits, makes a fantastic underspin. We'll link every one of these baits down in the video description to make it really simple for you. But this guy, again, fishes great with a 2.8 or a 3.3 you can throw it on a 3.8, even in the small sizes, but I think staying small with it is really the way to go when you need that finesse underspin. And then last is the screw head from Mega Bass. That little guy, it's almost like a soft version of a spy bait. What's interesting and what I think a lot of people overlook with the Mega Bass is that the blade on it is completely lopsided. One side of the blade is maybe half the size of the other side of the blade. So as it's going around, it's lopsided. That's what gives it all that rock and roll and extra action. We've talked about each one of these things before. So we've told you in the past that this has a ton of action and a really unique look and profile. Fish just can't resist it. I've seen so many giant smallmouth fall to this exact setup, that little tiny spark shad on the back of that guy there and it, they just eat it. And you can throw it all the way down to four pound line if you need to. 
This is truly the extreme of finesse swim baiting. This little guy right here on ultra, ultra, ultra light line, and you just go slow. This is key. I wanna make sure you understand this because how you fish each one of these is critical to your success. So this guy, you can't go slow enough. Barely turn that handle, barely. If you speed up at all, it completely loses that rock and roll and then ultimately it'll blow out and it won't even run right. Slower is better, lighter line is better. This is not something that you are using to cover water. This is when you found the bass and they don't want to bite, be it a cold front, a change in weather, murky water comes in and screws them all up and it's clearing back up, but they're not back to feeding yet. Dynamite option. But it's for when you know those fish are there and you can just slow down and just crawl through them. Same thing with that cool baits, but the cool baits is a little less finesse in my mind, even though it's got that really light hook. The cool baits, I'm still going to fish it down on bottom and I fish it ultra slow, but because that blade is down there under that bait, it's twirling when you're in the open water, it's adding vibration. When you get down to bottom and you're just bumping along the bottom, it's adding a ton of sound. It's bouncing off the rocks, creating a bunch of ruckus and does a great job of it. So this guy, you can fish a little bit faster, but still, we're not out here trying to cover tons of water. We're just crawling. And then same with that guppy head. The guppy head, again, true finesse. This little guy paired up with a 2.8 Kitek, catches fish under virtually any situation except muddy water. The presence is so small. Let me pull one of these off the cool baits here. What I mean by that is, you know, the head doesn't have a lot of vibration. The swim bait is tiny, so the vibration that you're getting is really muted but it's just a great little profile. But that guy there doesn't give off enough sound or vibration or color or flash or anything to draw fish in a huge distance. So again, ultra slow. That's your best bet, just cover water. But if you've got fish where you know where they are, clear water in particular, they will come and get that thing. And then if you need to mix it up again, that underspin, or that mega bass is another dynamite option. The bigger head is what we're using to cover water. We put, again, a 3.8 or a 4.3 on there, and that's the one that you can just bomb and just cover water, find those fish. You can slow down and really crawl if you need to, but you don't have to do that. It has the ability, it comes in some heavier weights where you can really get that thing tracking well and you can just crank that handle. It's almost like a finesse spinnerbait. You're just covering water. But when you find those fish, you have that ability to slow down and just bump bottom. Now again, the Kitek is the gold standard, but a couple of other options that have really stood out for us this past year. This is a D Walker, that river to sea. I started throwing this last year, told you guys about it immediately because we saw some underwater of this bait and it had this incredible side to side hunt and top to bottom hunt. The bait was just moving all over the place, doing incredible things that other baits don't do. That is a dynamite option if you wanna branch out. Another one, X-Zone. X-Zone makes this guy right here. It's called a Swammer, as opposed to Swimmer, Swammer with an A. This is an interesting bait because when you pair this up with one of these heads, let me put that guy on that finesse head. That guy right there paired up on that head, a Kitek comes through the water with a tail kick like this. This guy comes through the water with that tail kicking and the body rolling like this all the way side to side. It's all over the place. So if your bass are aggressively chasing bait and you need some commotion, you need some movement, that swammer is a really interesting option. And then last one going completely different profile. Tim started hammering on this bait last year. He talked about it in a few different videos. B 
because out on the water, we were hammering with this bait, is the Dark Sleeper. We've talked about it a few times. We maintain this thing catches them. It imitates a goby extremely well, but it imitates some other things as well that we have in all of our lakes. It's got a protected hook. The hook is hidden down inside that dorsal fin. It's a short little hook, but it's stout. You can get away with throwing it on lighter line, but you're not going to bend it out on fish. That guy is an awesome option. So three swim baits that are just a little bit different, but work really, really well, that are worth playing with. The last thing I wanna say on the baits themselves, and then I'll talk a little bit about gear and the bite. Don't be afraid to branch out with color. I talked about this this winter. Chartreuse in blue is one of those colors that will smash in muddy water, but you have no idea how well it works in crystal clear water. I'm talking clear water, especially around smallmouth. Chartreuse in blue is an amazing color. Morning, dawn, some of the really bright, bold colors. Don't be afraid to branch out this year. I have my favorites. Those natural tones, that pro blue red pearl is one of them, electric shad is another, just those day in, day out phenomenal colors. But if I need to mix it up, if I need to get a bite, they're not cooperating right, chartreuse and blue is a phenomenal way to go. Now let's talk gear for this finesse approach. Do I have a, yep. Now the finesse swim bait, that little bit larger hook, you can throw that on your bait casters. Throw it on your jerk bait rod, throw it on a jig rod. You could throw it on all sorts of things. Just an all around rod, like a Senko rod, Texas rig rod. But the little guys, the guppy head, the little tiny cool baits, the little tiny mega bass, don't waste time. Go to a spinning rod, go to light line. We throw braid to leader on all of our spinning but even if you're straight fluoro, go light. Go down to four pound, five pound, six pound, because when you're going to that approach, your entire goal is to get bit. You're not doing it because you're getting bit on every cast. If you're getting bit on every cast, you'd be doing other things. But when the going gets a little tough, you can turn to those baits and they will get bit. So go all the way, drop down a light line, put it on a spinning rod and just slow fish it, throw it out there, let it go down, just crawl that thing, just let it bump along. Those fish will come get it. The biggest tip that I can give you, sometimes when you're throwing these things, you'll feel that dunk, you know, they hit hard. They just gulp that thing. It's clear, set the hook, obviously. The second you know there's a fish there, set the hook. But a tip that's gonna make a difference for you this spring, a lot of times, because I'm going so slow on the bottom with these baits, they're just barely creeping along the bottom, just barely kicking. I'll be winding along and I can feel the resistance of the bait. It's faint because it's a light bait, but I can feel that it's there. And all of a sudden, it just goes away. I'm just weightless. If you go weightless, set the hook. With these little tiny baits, these bass can come up and completely engulf the bait from behind. You'll never feel anything. They completely slack out the line and all you know is that it's just gone. Don't wonder what happened. Don't try to reel up a bunch of slack. Set the hook. I would say a good quarter to half of my bites in the springtime just gulp that thing and keep coming towards me. And if I didn't know to expect that, I would miss those fish and you will too. Guys, the little finesse swim baits are an amazing way to catch fish in the spring. Regardless of which one you throw, try a few of them out, find one that you have confidence in and throw it when the going gets tough. You know, you can drop down, you can worm, you throw a drop shot, a shaky head, but there's something special about that little swim bait too that will just catch fish when they don't want to bite. Get out there and give it a try. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications button, hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming, and we'll talk to you soon.